My name is Karen Fazio. I'm the owner of My Best Friend Dog Training, and today we're going to see a Doberman Pinscher that has some serious fear and fear-related aggression issues. Um, from what the client tells me, the dog has attacked several workers. She charges the front door, but she's very fearful. Um, so we're going to go check her out today and see if we can help her. One of the things I did want to talk about before we go, go into the house here is this dog was trained traditionally. And traditional training uses a lot of um, leash corrections and prong collars and shock collars and basically punishment. And the trainer thought he did a great job because by the time he finished with training, she, does, she, didn't, she wasn't growling, she wasn't doing any kind of obvious displays, which is polite in the dog training world. You see a dog snarling and growling at you, throw him a treat and say, thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> because that dog's letting you know, hey, you're scaring the living daylights out of me. And if you come any further, you better watch out. So that's polite. Um, what happened with Sienna is that she started to suppress that. Because when she did display aggression, she was punished for it. So now you have a more dangerous dog. This dog was punished in the past for her fears. And, you know, if you took a child that was afraid of the dark and every time the light went off and he started crying and you went in and you started smacking him and spanking him, I mean, you're going to have a psychotic on your hands. It's always good to have treats handy. Hot dogs. Yummy. Uh, the reason, you know, most people are kind of worried about using table food, but for me, Nothing's better than a hot dog. Because most dogs that are really frightened, many of them will still eat hot dogs. And they'll turn their nose up at treats, uh, biscuits, and things like that. But a hot dog, it's almost irresistible. So this is my ammunition today. So this dog loves hot dogs. Um, so what I'm doing is, is normally this, this whole trek here is one filled with stress. So what I put hot dogs on the stairs, so instead of just, you know, running up the stairs like a lunatic, that scent of hot dog will hit her. And I know that she's muzzled, but you know what? You can stop her on the stairs. If she stops this, then right. stop and give her a piece. Okay. So you go back downstairs, oh, it's not so much fun, but we'll go on up the stairs, oh, a hot dog, that's great. Right. So now I'm happy about this. I'm not like, oh, who's that stranger coming into the house? I'm afraid of them. Oh, I want right. to bite them, okay? Beautiful. Very nice. Girl. There's girl. Hello, sweetheart. Hey girl. Hey. This is a new food that I brought for you today, and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about her diet. Um, I want to simplify her diet. Wellness has, um, it's called Simple Solutions, and it's basically one carbohydrate and one basic animal protein. Okay, so you have like duck and rice, you have lamb and rice, okay? And all the other stuff is taken out. Um, I want you to really focus in on her mouth, okay? This is something that most people don't notice, okay? This is called a fear grimace. It's not a smile, all right? When a dog's mouth is pulled back like that, that's stress, okay? And her eyes are very wide open. If this was a smile, her eyes would be squinty and they would be relaxed. Now her eyes are very wide because she wants to keep an eye on everything that's going on in here today. <laughs> this time, when the doorbell rings, I want you to give her a treat. Okay. As soon as you hear the bell, Start her. Let, her, let her nibble that out of your hand so right. that during the whole chime, okay. she's getting fed. Now what we're trying to do is change her emotional state from one of fear and apprehension and excitement to pleasure and calm. Good girl, good girl. Oh, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Hey, yeah. Hey. Good job. Good girl. Very good Yay. girl. Hey. Patty, you need to do this exercise with every single person that comes through the home. Right. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You can't just do it one time. This right. has to be every time a stranger comes into the house. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna we're gonna work on clicker training. Okay. Okay, and that. Clicker training is, is you're marking a behavior. 
she can't be barking and lunging and growling if she's eating. Right. And I've noticed that even during when her most extreme states, she still takes food. So I want you to give a treat. I want you to walk right past him, but don't walk him. Click, treat. Okay, enough. Sit. Okay, so what happens here, strange is gone, treats are gone. But you really need to, you really need to do this. I mean, it's no different than a kid with special needs, right. okay? Um, there you go, okay? And it, 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 is, it is a burden, it can be, yeah. you know, because we don't always, you know, count on, oh, I gotta go grab a pack of hot dogs right now because, you know, for strangers coming through the door. But, I mean, you could see in just a little bit of time that we did with the hot dog toss on the stairs, even right. when she heard the bell, right. she wasn't hysterical. Right. Was, she cons was she interested in the bell? Yeah. Did she bark with the bell? Yeah. Right. But she wasn't Cujo with the bell. Right. Okay? So what we're doing is we're changing her emotional state. Here. <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> she kissed you. <laughs> Give me kisses. Come here. Aw, you're a brave woman, Karen. Who's that? Who's that? Huh? That's how she greets me. Okay, do you... Submissive first. Uh, you do what you gotta do. I train that dog. She was very alpha. I trained her in Bay Ridge. Okay. Wait, this dog thinks this guy's nuts. And so do I. That like over the top tough guy stuff is gonna get you nowhere with a dog that has fear and aggression. In fact, it's gonna make it a whole lot worse. So if this Absolutely. dog attacks somebody and you're not there to go eh, yeah. or yeah. Ch -ch -ch, or any of those things, right. yeah. this dog's <laughs> gonna go attack somebody yeah. and guess right. what? You lose your house, yeah. you lose your homeowner's insurance, right. and the dog gets killed. Yeah. Now whose fault is that? Is right. it the dog's? No. no, it's the owner. I know. Okay, so the safest way. Now if we could get the dog from being ah, in the yard to going, ooh, a stranger. Hey, yo, where's the hot dogs? Oh, right, right. Who cares what the technique is? is. Right. Who cares? Right. We change the dog's emotions. She sees a stranger and she's thrilled. Right, right. Okay? We want that dog to react like when you come home at night and it's like, oh my God, it's you. Right. Okay? That's what we want from everybody. I, I want to wish you a lot of luck with that one. <laughs> I I, from the heart, I want to wish you I've all the best. I've been doing this a lot of years, bro. Believe me, it works no, no, great. No, no. You're looking at a breed that was bred for protection. It was bred for these kinds of things. I mean, so, so she's really engaging in, in behaviors that are really super reinforcing. Mm -hmm. So our job is to create other things that are just as reinforcing. It's kind of being sneaky. Right. Okay? And finding ways to get your dog to behave in the way that you want. It's very manipulative. Okay, um, and I'll teach you how to do it. <laughs> I already do with my son, so it's be right. a snap. Um, I brought a game with me today, and it's from the UK, <laughs> and it's by Nina, uh, Nina Otis, Otisman. Mm -hmm. I have a terrible time pronouncing her name. Um, and it's called Doggy Twister. Oh. So what you're going to do is, again, you're going to let her see you put the kibble in. Mm -hmm. You're going to slide it closed. I want you to put kibble in every one. Okay. That way, if she happens to move one over, right. she has kibble right there. So she'll discover the kibble. Okay. And she'll start scratching at this and using her nose and learning how this works in order to get food out. Okay. An hour of this game, and your dog will be sleeping for the remainder of your day. Excellent. Okay. This is the doggy twister. And then there's other games where they have to slide these things around in order to get the treats out, okay? okay. And it's really good mental stimulation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. You're really? welcome, honey.